Hey, yo, peep this. So I would just sit here doing an inventory of some of the processes and tools that I have in my toolbox to build generational wealth and break generational curses and, you know, all these other cliches that we just throw around there, right? But one important piece that I really don't want to take for granted is prayer. And I think oftentimes all of us pray, right? We pray about, you know, for the things that we want, for the stuff we need. So I think a key component that a lot of people miss in prayer it's the why. And I don't know if y'all heard this acronym, right? P is for praise. So when we enter God's gates, we enter with praise on our tongue. R is for repentance to make sure that we're clean. You know, then we are clean to ask for anything, which is the A. And then last but not least is the why, which is the yield. And that's the part a lot of us do not do when it comes to that process in prayer. And what that means is, do you sit still long enough to hear the answer to the prayer that you just prayed? Do you sit back and really take a minute with God to say, Lord, I need to hear your voice before I make this decision. Lord, I need to be quiet so you can talk. Because a lot of us just talk, 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 ask, 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 and then go about our merry way because we're so used to being busy. We're so used to being in a rush that we don't even have time for God to give us what we need. That's the intangible piece of prayer, right? We need the knowledge. We need the wisdom. We need the understanding to make the right decisions to set us up for our, for our wealth, for our generational curse breaking, for anything that he has in his will for our lives. In Psalms 23, it tells us that he guides his sheep by still waters. I want y'all to get this. And the stillness is very important because you can't drink from a rapid stream. You have to be still enough to be able to quench your thirst, to get the nutrients, to get the replenishment, to get the thirst quenching thing that God has for you. You have to do that in a quiet place. At the end of the day, it's your choice. Y'all guys can do whatever you want, but it's me, your chief inspirational officer, Ben Holmes, helping you not only take authority over your finances, but your life. So y'all know me, man. See y'all on the other side. Check in, check out. Peace.